50H27E. Take the road and gather the people. Cleveland, Ohio, you see. Thanks to. Good evening. Thank you. I'm happy to be here tonight. You see, we're always happy. Yes, that's right. Since I found Jesus, I've always been happy. Are you happy? He makes us happy. Excuse me. Thank you. Either my voice weakened or this. And he said, stand close. Aye, all these microphones. All right. We're very happy to be here. The closing night of the services. We trust that God will give us a great marvelous meeting tonight. I'm sorry that this is our last time. I mean that from my heart, I am. The only bad thing about these evangelistic services like this, when you have to say goodbye, that's uh, hard. I just begin to know you, just like when you get acquainted. And some of the people here that's grown to love me and so forth. And I've never had the opportunity to even shake their hand or anything. I apologize for it. Wished I could. My work has been always just rushing to a city, then out of the city, I found Cleveland to be one of the nicest places I was ever at. That is true. That everybody has been very, very nice. And I certainly appreciate that. My prayers is that God will bless you all and give an old fashioned revival that'll just bring me hundreds of thousands of precious souls to be brought into the kingdom of God. I want to pay tribute to my brother for his cooperating in the meeting. What a fine group of men they are. And I'm so happy to know that these people here in Cleveland have such a, in this city here, the people who, I'll tell you that God will, someday, if not until this time, that he will, that will inspire them, that will send them out like it was first, just all along, inspired with God. May the rebel break out everywhere through the country. I want you to get this tent full. If I can, tip is audible in many of those places that before. I believe we're nearing the end of the road. I'll be happy to. I believe you're at the end of the road. I don't know just what. Others believed on that. The vision I seen the other night to go and realize that only one ever since great revivals break out over the city. Let's go ahead and praise God for it's really done. Do you believe that? He was led to what the Father showed him to do. And that was the first born son of God and he was a manifest to what the father said to do and the father was manifest to your face is that right so view of whatever God will do will have to come through your faith he said do you believe in Jesus Christ now there's many people touching him but she believed in her heart for she said in her heart if I can just touch the hem of his garment I'll be made whole now she believed that and now the closing of this service and things I want to say this, that it's so hard for me to hear for to the people in the way that it should be. So I pray that in my congregation that many will accept him, many critics, and they'll get the wrong impressions when you talk to them. And I do not worship that, that maybe when he was telling me the real way that it is, it causes people to try to think it's your primary into the miracle of campaigns. If I do that, if that was done from my heart, I believe God would, I believe it. If I was to try to get some men to look at me, to believe me, for I believe God would take that, but to get it a little closer to what you can believe in order to be healed through here, that if he spoke it out, the people would get a wrong impression at this time. Because, see, you are, well, the people that crucified Jesus believed in an almighty God. Is that true? They, to God, the Jews, in their religions, holy, renowned men, crucified the Son of God because they did not believe that he was God. And no matter how much they believe in Jehovah God, they can't believe in Jesus being his son. In order to receive anything from Jehovah God, they sat and read about it, Jesus, the Son of God before Jehovah. Is that true? He told the Jews, he said, as you have believed in God, believe also in me. That's right. Well, now, if you will test his message one moment that the angel of the Lord told if you get the people to believe you do you see it? get the people to believe you and be sincere in your prayer no disease shall stand before the prayer and I have proof do you believe me? you say I believe God well that's what you should do but you can believe God and you don't believe this it won't do you any good now that's hard and I hate to say that but it's a true thing 
Don't believe me as one of them, but believe that they have sent me for this purpose. Then when you believe me, you believe what the angel has come from, that he's the angel from God, and when you recognize him to be that, I'm just his voice. He's a spiritual person. I'm natural. He can bring supernatural to the natural man. He glories, glorifies, speaks his voice. He uses my hands. He uses my eyes to see visions. He uses my ears, just as the Holy Spirit uses you. When you are praising God, it's your voice. When you are lost in the Spirit, praising God, see what I mean? And if I should try to use one speck of my own thoughts, it will be wrong. I must fully depend fully upon the Holy Spirit, on the angel of God. Therefore, I can only speak as he speaks, and he can only speak as you believe it. Now, I do not expect everybody to be healed. There's exceptions. Many people are great lovers of God, raised up under the church. They believe the church. That's right. They believe God. That's But as far as supernatural being operating in a human today, that's beyond anything they could follow. But that's where the truth is now. That is the truth as God is my supreme judge. That's where the truth is. People have their own beliefs drawn up today, what they think that they are going to be, and the way it's going to be. It'll come just according to that, or they won't believe it. And that's the reason they have their way. They thought the way Jesus was coming first, they had it all mapped out. He was going to against the Roman Empire and scatter everything and set on the throne of David, but he didn't come that way. And God usually brings things different than what we mapped out in order to seed the live tree. He will reveal it to babes such as the land. Now, God even hears this. Why did you go up here, this house? I'm going to tell all these guests tonight, then over to California, down to Australia, to have a meeting. In order, we probably have India. Some of those of Jerusalem was telling me a few days ago, just uh, got a million New Testaments, those Jewish people, been out of uh, its place for 2,500 years, seeing had his newspaper days they returning back. They read his Bibles in Hebrew. Well, if this Jesus is Messiah, we look at the word. It looks all right. But let us see him and do the sign upon the Jew. Jesus said, except you see signs, you won't believe. They are wanting to see Jesus in the Bible and do the signs for them to prove that he was a prophet sent from God. Oh, brother, sister, in your prayers, don't forget me. So when I come before those Jew that's been assembled together, that Jesus will come down and do the signs and honors of their prophet, that Israel may believe on the Lord Jesus. I believe it will be thousands of them saved. Victory is coming forth to us. We're nearing the end of the time. You people are the ones that are sick. You're the ones that's in the meetings. And I'm the one that sent to pray for you. I would have to answer for what I tell you. Therefore, I must be sincere. And when you see God performing any miracle after down here, just remember that what he does here, he wants to do there, down there, out here, and here and over here. He wants you to do it everywhere. Please believe me tonight. And as you see him walking, if he tells some person here in the platform the things of their life, remember he knows everything that's in your heart. Do you believe that? He knows your thoughts. Before you think them, that's right. He knows all things. And is here tonight, just as he was in the days of when he stood by Sarah there and was perceiving her thoughts. Does he? Don't. When he brought Nathaniel to the Son of Man, I knew you before Philip called you. When he was under the tree, I knew you. Told the woman at the well her sins. He put his finger into a deaf man's ears, spit, and the man could hear. What about here for health rules of the day? Get the original of the Greek in the Bible. When he had the blind man, his parents talked to him. He spitting on the ground, talking to a man. And the words that he was saying over his lips, and the saliva in his mouth, spitting on the ground. You accept spitting on the ground? Then where he spit a great big puddle of spit on the ground, picked it up in his hands, the mud, and made a kick and put it over the man's eyes, told him to go wash in the pool of... What will the health rules say about that today? But Jesus spit, and the man obeyed what he told him to do. And he came back receiving his sight. And they marveled, not because of the spit, not because of the mud, but because he believed what Jesus told him was the truth. Is that right? Now, <clears throat> that's what you've got to believe today. 
believe it with all of your hearts believe him tonight believe him right now i feel it setting here feel him setting in and how that god wants the angels here right now there's no danger don't you every one of you could healed right now you could be healed right here and the only way that i know that's true is because i see them setting there the very god that created the heavens and made a man to hear and speak is in the building now and then they who believe those things in here i believe they're going far from the natural and now many of you here no doubt is suffering some to be in the prayer line here i do not know when they come and call from the prayer line go forth from here and that i cannot say but i know this one thing friends i do not know very much what i do know i know it's a truth that's all that i consider and if god doesn't confirm that to be the truth then i've told wrong but if god says it's a truth then i told the truth it's right but that ought to be every human here now when i'm gone remember this if you hear anybody say that Brother Brandon is a divine healer, you pray for them. I am not a divine healer. I'm just your brother, and I've come here to pray for you. And God has proven that what I've told has been the truth, the deaf hear. You see, where is the miracle? If I could stand here in front of somebody under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit and tell that person what they had in their body, and there was a needy one person anywhere in the building, it would be a miracle. Never had it been showed that it was somewhere under the supernatural god has done that there's no one could do that except by god and all of your life that you've done down through life and of you setting up here if i out in here it would be a miracle before god that was a, that also believes he really means it if god will deliver him i usually say this to an audience when the night is never too dark the rain never falls too hard wish i had but my, there's so many thousands in here, I can't. But I'll say this, wherever God will send me, I go. If I could be right here now, just this meeting later, and the Holy Spirit in this meeting, to take a plane and to go across the seas, I'd go right out now if I could. I would never leave the city, pray for the sickness. I believe it. It's obedience, is better than sacrifice. God bless you all. Write to me and send and get the prayer little prayer clothes absolutely free post office box 325 jeffersonville indiana or just write to me william Branham, jeffersonville indiana i pray about those clothes do all that i can to help you and don't forget to pray for me i hope soon i can come back and meet again see i hope you get that great tabernacle you're talking about i'll be your associate pastor of this meeting <laughs> If you get the pastor to cooperate, and I believe he will, can I be associate pastor in there? All right. But I, the audience applause, thank you very much. That's very fine. Thank you. I'll do all that I can. Come back in certain season. You keep praying for the people. God bless my brothers and sisters everywhere. I want to read just a scripture, and then we are going to start this prayer line right away. Over in the book of Numbers, the 20th chapter, and beginning with the 7th, and the eighth verse inclusive, I wish to read these words. And the Lord speak unto Moses, saying, Take the rod and gather thou the assembly together, thou and Aaron thy brother, and speak ye unto the rock before their eyes, and it shall bring forth his water, and thou shalt bring forth to them water out of the rock, so that thou shalt give the congregation and their beast drink. Can you bow our heads? Heavenly Father, it's kind of hard for me to say goodbye to this lovely audience of people. Be so kind to me now for three weeks, constantly blessing me and giving me this portion of the gospel, standing by me in the hours when we needed and prayed and called on God. We're so thankful for them. And now, Sunday night, as far as this meeting is concerned, the ministers and them, the last time in this meeting, I've tried to do all that you've showed. And I pray, God, tonight that you will send the angel who will down into a midst, that he might move by the Holy Spirit up and down to the aisles everywhere, May faith just be great, and many, many people tonight might be healed. Brought closer to God since this day for the great altar call, and those needy and poor seeking, you said, seek, and it shall find, a knock, and it shall be opened, ask, and it shall be given. Even that knocketh is opened, and even that seeketh life, create such a hunger and thirst in their heart. No one 
will ever have rest until they have found Christ. Speak to their hearts while the Spirit is drawing. Tell us now tonight in our hearts to stand here ministering to those who I need, Father. Spirit will be here and anoint the servant for the service. We ask it in his name. Gather people together and speak to the rock. I'm going to try to start this prayer line about right now. Pray for all that I can. It won't. Everyone will be prayed for tonight. What I'm speaking for now is trying to find for God in the Moses had brought all the children of Israel through the wilderness. They began to chide God and Moses. And God had called their hand on each, sent fiery serpents among them that beat people. And then God made an atonement for them through a brass serpent. They looked upon the serpent and lived. The only way they had to do to the serpent is to pray for them. They looked and lived. Did you notice this, brother, sister, in the Bible, in 1 Corinthians 12, where the gifts are made known, when it comes to healing, it's in the plural, gifts of healing. But prophecy is one. But when it comes to healing, it's gifts of healing. Many different ways God does things. And is always, since the beginning, as far as we know, has had a way for healing, divine healing for his church. Isn't that right? In the journeys in the wilderness, plumb back to the days of Abraham, how he healed Sarah being barren. He's been a miraculous working God all down through the ages. And if he has been down through the ages and then coming here to the closing of all ages, could he be for himself in weaken his power and say there's no more to it? God forbid. Before my entered now, his promises will be everywhere through the ages. Back in those days, why there was more than as many people, the gifts wasn't needed as much as they are now. Just think, friends, that in the ministry that I have had from the Lord alone, I've seen many, many, many times more miracles performed than is written in the Bible that Jesus Christ has done in these three years in one unit. One group of his ministry, one group has done more miracles than has been written in this Bible. Everything that could be written in the Bible except leprosy that I know of has been healed, even to three specific cases of people who are pronounced dead, are living tonight, healthy and strong. Who did that? Jesus Christ. He's the same yesterday, today and forever. And he's here tonight. And he, Jesus, was a rock that was in a wilderness that followed the children of Israel. And the rod that Moses had in his hand, it was not the rod of Moses. It was a rod of God, God's judgment rod. Moses held it out over Egypt and flies came up. He held it out and fleas came up. Wherever he dumped his rod, it was a judgment rod. It brought from the judgment upon a disobedient people. And the rod was Christ, the substitute for sin and sickness. And Moses took the judgment rod and smote the rock to bring forth water. Therefore, it was the judgment rod of God that smote Jesus and killed him, the innocent one, and brought from him, flowed the Holy Spirit to a perishing people now that would have life. No more do we smite the rock, but we speak to the rock. And watch the nouns and pronouns. It, he said, speak to the rock, and it shall bring forth his personal pronoun, his water. Speak to the rock, and it shall bring forth his water. Maybe some of those poor Israelites, they left garlic and onions to eat angels' food, and they're complaining about it. They had left the muddy waters of Egypt to drink from the fountain of life, and are complaining about it. And they had left the boasting physicians of Egypt to be with the great physician, and was complaining about it. They left a bunch of people that believes the days of miracles were past to be the bunch of people believe that all things are possible, and still complaining about it. Isn't that just like the church today? Come out of Egypt, come out of the world, out here in this glorious church of the living God, the firstborn, and because we have little trials, God asks us to believe and to hold on, we still complain about it. Now notice another thing they had done. They left the people back there that had no signs to live under the pillar of fire and a cloud and was complaining about it. No wonder their water supply was cut off. And that's what's the matter with the church today. There's too much grumbling about things, complaining, be satisfied and keep moving on, pressing on. And when the water supply got cut off, God asked them to go to speak to the rock, that it would bring forth his waters, not tonight, 
the only thing you have to do is speak to the rock and it shall will bring forth his water and if you are on speaking terms with him tonight how many is here on speaking terms with the rock tonight let's see your hands fine now I want you to speak to him about your condition, about your body, and he will bring forth the healing waters of life flowing through you freely that you could be healed tonight. Do you believe that? God bless you and make a blessing to others now. Where the sick people are these in this aisle and this aisle and out here, is that right? Well, notice how many of you here is sick tonight and must be prayed for. That's your hands. There's more than I guess it's all. It's just uh, all right. All right. Thank you, brother. This is the audience. Now look, friends, you're the ones that seek and wants to be healed. Now you get right down to business for a while now, won't you? Get right down and start praying right now and just say, Lord, in my heart, I know that and you give me my desire. God will do it. And you up there that don't have, a, just look down here. What if you're sitting down here sick and afflicted and it's right here where I'm at? Now remember, God can show anything that's in here. I could have any of you to stand up and I will tell what was wrong with them, but that wouldn't heal them. They'd have to accept Jesus as a healer before they could be healed. And now, would you believe this? That even of you in here that's preached it, confess your sins, is already healed according to God's word. By his stripes we were healed. He healed us when he died for us. The medicine was put in the cabinet, God's medicine cabinet. Did you ever believe he had a medicine cabinet? Here's what he was. Wasn't he the lily of the valley? Where did he get the opium? From the lily, is that right? Lily is where you get the opium. What does opium do? It soothes every pain. What makes the opium take effect like that? First thing, the lily. Before it can become, get the fragrance out of it. In the opium, it had to be crushed, mashed up and squeezed out. The opium comes out from the then dispatch it and it goes in mixed with the other comes into it jesus he was crushed at calvary and all the opium of that lily was squeezed out god's got a great kernel full of it tonight and can by faith inject it into every sick person here and you know when you're on you get opium and just everything is calm every fear has left when the lily of the valley the opium is down from a natural lily you get over it soon and have to have more in you but this time injected the opium of his healing balm into you you are healed every pain is gone all the sickness is gone the deaf hear the dumb speak the blind see the lame walk is that right isn't that right so he is the lily of the valley he's a morning star the mighty praises of his glory and when the lord keep us i believe tonight he will the straightening out of god of that person a sick person laying on this cross and stretch as heavenly father we come to the now to ask you for your blessing lord and to heal all that's waiting tonight may there be of healing may the angel of god come through here tonight and expose may he be already down the aisles we look the silver lining in the presence of god may the angels be upon us and god may he come tonight to be here with power tonight gathered around maybe demon power may these happy people believe and see marvelous times we have longed to see it for we ask it in jesus name may the lady at the organ or whoever it is softly play abide with me everybody be just as quiet as possible the other night i just brother makes an announcement in the prayer in the first person i laid my hands upon was or a minister standing near me i believe it was i forget just who this minister it was one of the cooperative ministers and the watch dropped off my arm hit the floor i believe that was broken then everyone be real reverent maybe she's standing close to me here with the bible and so forth oh it would be wonderful for us now here and just give me again the spirit of our lord now of course he does what did all right those with the prayer cards x we're going to try to begin with the number one wave your hand so you can see there's number one two three first then we'll take four five six then you have to stop first maybe we'll choose another number then eight after this first line now you have a prayer card how the prayer card just when you see your number called then you move raise up your hand and i want some of the ashes to come and you'll get the people as their numbers are called now while you're lining up I want you on the right side, if you will, that little girl beginning with number one, two, number five, fifteen. All right, let's have fifteen first, number one, two, number fifteen. Line up first, 
And now let us say here that boy back there and the man sitting there, they are seeing pray over. See, call their numbers. They are along in there. Then you and the sitting here, very lovely. Can you get up? Will you feel Anna standing over there? Fell on her head. Please be reverent and sincere. I'm standing here. I'm looking at some old mother. She looked at her prayer card and she turned it over. Her number happened not to be just that. She looked very much disappointed. I hope that does she looks tore up, but Jesus knows all about it. Don't be discouraged. Haven't you heard? Believe your heart. Don't think you have no prayer cards. You pray real hard. Just with a good courage, I believe Jesus is going to heal you. Well, Brother Branham, praise for the sick. Brother Narit, calling back and forth. Can you hear me all right? I'm trying. Can, do you hear that all right? I can't find the normal. The baby is just a little. A brother Narit, how would I know that? Do you feel a real strange feeling? Aren't you? That's because your faith in Jesus, a brother Narit. Now, if by the grace, the angel should tell you what's wrong with you and the desires of your heart, the thing that's wrong with you and the thing that you have done, do you think then God let me know what would be a future? You would? Do you believe that? Yes? Amen? That is right. All right. I want to ask for Lord Jesus upon a confession to heal you and to make you well and then to direct me in my thoughts, not let me use my mind, but his spirit to use my mind and tell you now what's for the future. You'll believe me. All right. Let us pray. I have any father. You are here to make known all things, and there is nothing but what you do know. Here all know that, Lord, that you are God. There is no secrets nowhere. And now this woman, standing a perfect stranger, never seen her in my life, but feeling the Holy Spirit near, and see her walk up here to see what was happening, and then to be able to look down through her past life and tell her the very things of her life back there, tell her her troubles and what's wrong with her, oh Christ, that's what makes us feel happy. You are here manifesting yourself. And now, Father, she makes this confession to the servant, knowing that she was not making it to me, but to you, believing that you are here. And I'm asking with all my heart, heal her tonight. May this trouble leave her. And may she perfectly, normal and well, may her testimony be great in her neighborhood. And may she win, even win many souls. For you ask it in Jesus' name. And thou demon that's bound the woman, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, leave the woman. All right, sister. You may raise head audience. Now, I, by God's grace, telling you what has been. I'll tell you what I want you to do. I pray God will never give you rest in your soul until you have fully surrendered completely to him. I believe that you will do that right away. Your heart's trouble will never bother you no more. Let it, and now you go and give yourself completely to him and live a victorious life. Forget about all the surroundings and what people are telling you. Don't believe that. You go listen to what I've told you now. Live happy, and God bless you, my sister. Thank you, dear sister. Let's say praise the Lord, everybody. That's where it is. That's all right. You're going to say praise the Lord like that. That's okay. Look, God is a God of worship. And he must be worshipped in spirit and in truth. Is that right? And anyone out in the world can mock and they and and cut up and clap their hands for. And God bless your sister. She passed by and said it was the word. It took courage laying in here. Isn't that wonderful? When he tells you of someone else, the lady knows that I didn't know her, never seen her in my life. But when she come here, the Holy Spirit begin to revealing the thing comes right down, she commits, and God made it known. You believe that all right. Believe it and watch it and be reverent. And I'm trying to find out there, coming across to me, there's somebody sitting right in here. And I really believe you are healed. All right. The brother narrates, one of them is, and the other, the other is, I believe in God. All right, everyone be reverent now. She's a little hard of hearing, and she has a kidney troubles, a pleurisy. 
Now everyone be really relevant. Well, I ask for healing to heal this woman well. She's got to reach out. That's been for long. My Heavenly Father, we come to thee in the name of the Son Jesus, asking that you'll bless these who we bless. And this poor woman here that has walked up here sincerely, she come and waited justly, honorably, received a prayer card to come here before this audience for her. Let her come that she might be healed. And as a lot tonight, as he cast the lots, it's the disciples may pass through that tonight, may be brought to the platform. And I'm standing here, your spirit has discerned the diseases and troubles of our body. And I ask thee, as your humble servant, to make the woman whole. As all the people are looking on, many of them in great admiration of the spirit of God that's in our midst tonight. Knowing that now they can go away and speak for you and say, Oh, I am whole today, he's here. I was right when the presence came down and I seen it perform miracles and I'll be a stranger stand up for that which they've heard preached and that which is right. And now, Father, help our sister and liberate her from being in bondage of affliction. Give thy servant faith to challenge these demons. Foul spirit of infirmity. I adjure thee by Jesus, Son of God, to come out from the woman. Well, her faith has healed her. Go now. A brother narrates, now all of your afflictions have left you. My sister, you are healed. Go on your road rejoicing, thanking God. Let's say praise the Lord everybody. Well, that might not mean much to you. But what if you had a tumor in? And remember, tumors are whatever it was. Thank you, lady. All right. Everyone be reverent and let's pray. All right. Everyone bow your heads. Oh, Jesus, the Son of God, author of life and giver of every good gift, send the blessings upon the woman and make her, she may be healed tonight. Go away from this building rejoicing and happy, praising thee for all your blessings. Hear the prayer of your humble servant, and may the power that has bound her turn her loose. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, just a moment, keep your heads bowed. Do not raise your heads, cause it will go right from one to another. And there may be a spirit, O eternal God, author of life, realizing that by faith, Faith alone, we are healed. I pray that you will give faith now to your servants here. May, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Spirit leave the woman, come out of her, lift her up, take his wonderful all right, you're healed, all right, all right. You can raise your heads and look, well, that's okay. Raise your head and say, praise the Lord, all right. Go off believing, let's say, praise the Lord. You know what's happened in that case? The woman was told of a condition, and a death spirit had entered the woman, which went off of that woman standing there a few moments ago. And there it was. And she first walked up. I could feel it feeling when it took hold of her hand, it settled on her, sitting there. My be reverent, friends, everybody. Now, just a moment. Everybody, real reverent. Look here, bow your heads now. Of course, you don't need. Have you been now? Uh, that's all right now. I know that spirit left her so that it touched. Stand on your feet. Jesus has healed you of that anemia condition. Amen. God bless you, sister. Amen. Now, I know that spirit, when it went off of the woman here, that anemia, it went. I don't know where they settled on that woman. Of course, you was anemia in the first place. Is that right? All right. Jesus Christ gives you a transfusion tonight. You can go now and be well. God bless you. All right. You take it. Oh my, let's say praise the Lord. My, I just feel his presence is near. Let's say praise the Lord. Yes, sir. He wants to be praised. Would you obey me as God's servant sister? You will. Go off the platform rejoicing. Be healed of that arthritis you had. A brother narrates. That's the way to do it. Working among his people. You are being healed. He will do it if you will. Just believe him, won't he? Now, really and truthfully, friends, the Holy Spirit... The healing of the Lord is just coming down and anointing wondrously now. I see it moving in everywhere. That's the way this lady here, arthritis, is what got you, wasn't it, sister? You sitting in your wheelchair, arthritis case. I thought the other one over there was arthritis, but it's not. And then I don't know, just a moment. Now God can reveal what's wrong with uh, you now not for your healing but i could tell the action of this is arthritis here from 
the way it pulled away from that lady. No, yours is not arthritis. If I'm not mistaken, yours is multiple cirrhosis. Is that right? If it is, raise your hand. That's right, lady. All right. I can see the way it's reacting back, lady. Now have faith. King George of England was healed a few weeks ago of multiple cirrhosis. Just have some. Brother, dear, I may even tell you what's wrong, but Christ is your healer. Have you confessed everything? Everything you know and live right before him. Now just keep praying because he's dealing with you now. That's right. Now, just be real, reverend. Everybody believe God. A brother narrates, I don't know what's wrong with you, but you're believing, aren't you? You're a believer. Yes, sir. I know what's wrong with you. Cancer case. The same as Christ can heal you and make you well, sir. Do you believe him? Will you serve him? You're all. You've been this way for quite a while, haven't you? I see you've had a lot of experiences. Have faith is gone from you. See, your sanity is very thin spiritually. You're laying there, which you could get up and walk alone if you wanted to. All you need is somebody to have to help you. But somebody's here to help you. That's the Lord Jesus Christ here. Support you and... Did you ever see a person that was obsessed of demons? There are many times your power because the devil has given them a superpower. If the devil can give a man five or six times his power, what ought the Holy Spirit to do? A million times your power. He is your strength and your help. Do you believe that? Have faith in God. And you do this for me. The first time from now until this time on, when you feel something move through you, see, when you do that, you come up from there, go on home and be blessed. Now, I'm leaving that to your faith in God. When you feel in your heart that God has blessed you, you to heal you, I can see what's wrong. I can see the experiences and the things, and that's true, but I can't, maybe just, but I couldn't see you're healed until as your conditions. When there comes a light around you, then I know you're healed, and then it's over. Oh, isn't he marvelous? The Holy Spirit is out among us, the people. He just is there everywhere. What's the matter, sir? You that's looking at her, next lady, you've got something on your heart too. You're praying about, haven't you? You're trying to find out. I also know what's been said. But I see you're trying to contact God, aren't you? If you would be setting, you're setting near so I can see you and be. All right, everybody believe. Everyone have faith now. Now, of course, you realize that. Now, he's a stranger to me, aren't you? You. But you realize also that you are something's happening to you. You feel a little strange. Isn't that right? Because of the presence of His Majesty, the Spirit of God. You need Christ, sister, don't you? You know what I'm speaking of. Look, we are tobacco case lady, aren't you? A demon. A brother narrates. You believe me with all your heart? Will you do as I would ask you? All right, sister, let's pray. I have only father, something strange about this case. And I do not understand just right. You started the vision going and then it died. May her faith be raised to a spot to where it should be for her healing. Forgive every sin and I pray that you will bless her and heal her and make her completely well. May she be a good testimony in her church. If she shall return and on the streets and wherever she goes, grant this father, may the demon of tuberculosis live her now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, come out of the woman. My sister, it would not leave the woman. You may raise your heads just a moment. I wish to talk to the lady. There's something wrong. Now look, sister, I want to show you. Move your hand over on mine. I want you to look at my hand. Looks just like any mother's hands. Now I want you to watch me put your hand on there. Watch the germ draw it from up red. And just watch it first. Take this hand over here and put it on this hand here. Hasn't changed any, sister. Now tick on this hands on when it's like uh, looks like it's going to burst now. If you just will remove your hand, see that leaves it. If I lay the other hand on there, it's all right. Now watch. You take your hand off, and I put my hand on. Is that right? Now you put this hand on. Now you see it. Do you see it? Do you see it now? You seeing just what I have said through this microphone. If that's the truth, raise this hand up so the people will know that it's true. Now see how it's moving. Now let's watch it. Now here it comes again. There it is again. That's just in waves roll over this audience. That's the way it moves. 
now she's standing right here and there it went and there it went again and there it goes again watch it there it is that's your father there and a gift of god is here a gift and a jam of is a life you see and that jam is a life and you have a human contact you can contact and this spirit that's here and that spirit that's giving you that tubercula knows that the hour is near and pushing back see when that spirit gets out to meet just like a warfare now if i could get you up into the category to believe is right that it's god it's uh, that's right and you'll give him praise now you see signs are happening here something has to happen all right i want you to watch my hand believe of your heart now looking you want me to in her life live for him just as relevant as you know how to live there's will be a days you'll do that all right it goes now without seeing you can see it your hand yourself now look now something has happened hasn't it sister that's the same hand look there's not a sign nowhere is there now here's a lady here is that the truth lady so they can hear me see not a sign the same hand i never even moved it there it is your heel sister go off may he just now go on your way rejoicing and praising god let's say praise the lord everybody as you can now believe with all your heart you believe with all your heart see you already healed god has healed you god bless your sister let's say praise be to god god healed her standing right there on the platform let's give god praise like this amen he's a lord no one can touch except him to me well do you feel all right now lady amen god bless you your little friends there she reached over and got a hold of the other lady's hand is holding her sister when your prayer card what's your number how far back are you what say oh yeah stand up sister do you believe of your heart you have tumors is that right do you believe if you do what i tell you to do you go home praising god and saying he blessed me i'm completely whole do you believe that about the narrates somehow i'm happy let's say praise the lord about the narrates stand up just a moment don't have no doubt do you believe just christ this is the spirit of christ is moving in on you tonight about the narrates is here all right your heart trouble has left you about the narrates that's what you had it was wasn't it but you don't have it anymore about the narrates isn't that right god bless you it's gone now you're healed all right now here's a cancer spirit moving right here now now watch this just a moment friends there's somebody you must be a patient right here's this woman sitting on this end with a white dress on aren't you extremely nervous sister is it nervous trouble yours is also isn't it nervous all right both of you go home you are healed both of you of nervous trouble i see your spirits a brother narrates has blessed you now you can be happy rejoice and say glory to god let's say praise the lord oh my what more could be done just come close see here bowing his head like he was crying nearly when you live here this man here nobody see through there the aged brother sitting there i probably can't make my words normal to him he can't hear me just what i'm speaking well the young man sitting there you have a skin eruption don't you brother does it bother you a long time just christ makes you well young man just go believing be free about the narrates do you believe him oh i'm looking for him to come down and heal everybody right now can't you believe that oh mercy how did you sister do you believe me the love of your heart about the narrates what is in your heart is heart trouble is that right do you believe go home you're not going to have no more heart trouble that's left you all come here and moving up this way has the same thing this lady has here it's cancer there's a close relations pulling right through here now both them demons realize that the power of jesus christ is here to make both of you whole you believe will you believe it sister do you believe it lady with all of your heart let's have prayer for both of them right now and ask god to heal the heavenly father as you stand here a brother narrates oh god have mercy as intercede for two dying women laying here and now ask this demon power of cancer to leave these people and go to go out in the name of the lord jesus christ the son of god god of healing strength believing god walk in the strength of the lord god the path from rejoicing happy you can do the same thing sister amen have faith everybody you believe look and live christ is here to make you live now 
we can call another number if you wish to or you can come right here to the platform and call them right here i believe god can call you from right here don't you believe it i believe that each one of you can be called right out where you're at right now be healed will you believe that with all of your hearts how many who has believed the report to whom has the arm of the lord been revealed now he's here and can heal the people oh sister the first lady was here you are all right serve the that you do it's all over now there's a man leaning around back there he's kind of a man with a white looking shadow on you it's your faith coming brother wrong with your leg isn't that right there's something wrong with your eyes too isn't there the man sitting right back there with a white shirt on looking at me you have eye trouble there's something wrong with your leg too is there something wrong with your leg you just recently got hurt didn't you you got hurt i knew there's something something fell on you is that right something fell on you see you just recently become a believer too to be a christian you belong to another church didn't you i believe i'd say you was yes now you belong to a christian science church i believe isn't that right and you just recently give your heart to christ isn't that true stand up on your feet just christ makes you whole and your legs are healed you're healed god bless you and when i read everybody believe just a moment now everyone look the power of god is a moving through now swiftly this aged woman sitting out here look this service sister you're suffering with a female trouble isn't that right a female trouble christ the son of god makes you whole sister that man there with the cane look in this service sir have faith believe oh brother you're aged but look you're a preacher you're a gospel preacher isn't that right that is right you're suffering with the heart trouble and arthritis is that true god bless you my gallant brother make you every whole you waved your hands to christ for years that sinners could come and repent god shall reward you Go home and be healed and be well. God bless you. How many here believes of your heart just now? Young man, holding up your hand back there. Stand up on your feet. Just Christ has healed you the heart trouble you had. God bless you. All right. How many will accept you right now as your healer? Believe with all of your heart. Half a stand up every one of you and accept it right now. You are healed. That's the way to do it. All right, brother. Stand up over there. That's right. Come out. You, sister. Hey, somebody. Get this woman here. God bless you. Praise does it. Hallelujah. Now, every one of you is healed. Oh, Almighty God, author of life, give of every. But then it's accepted right now. Christ, the Son of the living God, is here to heal every person.